What's this? What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's a carbon fiber travel guitar. So this company hit me up called Journey Instruments and they were like, hey Sam, do you want to try out our carbon fiber travel guitar? And I was like, sure. So they sent me this guy and I told him I'd do a little video on it. I'm not getting paid for this or, or anything, actually. So, uh, so here's my honest thoughts on this boy. So let me be very clear. This is a specific guitar for a specific thing and it is for that specific thing and it's not for other things. So if this guitar was a traditional wooden guitar and you handed it to me and you were like, what do you think of this? I would say, I don't think it's that cool. I don't really like it that much. But that's not what it's trying to be. It's not even close. Um, what makes it cool is that one, it collapses down into a very small size. So this whole neck comes off and you could put it in a case and you could take it on a plane, no problem. Um, and the second thing is that the material that it's made of is very durable. It's just a lot more sturdy and strong than wood. So you could leave this thing in your car or whatever. You don't have to worry about it like getting super hot or getting humid or like getting cold or whatever. You just don't really have to worry about it. You can kind of beat it up. You just don't really have to worry about it, you kind of beat it up. It's also got a quarter inch jack for plugging in, so if you want to play live or something, you got that hole right there. What you lose is sound quality, okay? That's the main thing that you lose with this thing. One thing in addition to the sound that would sort of deter me from recording with this thing is that the neck, so the back of the neck, has sort of like a matte finish, and while it looks really cool, my hands are really dry, so like when I'm sliding around with my thumb, I get like a shh sh sound. Anytime I shift, I'm gonna get that. In comparison, my main guitar has a glossy finish on the neck, so I don't get as much of that sound when I'm sliding around. Still get a little bit, but not as much as the uh, carbon fiber. So like I said, if this is like a traditional guitar and you hand it to me, I'd be like, I don't really like that. That's not that rad. But it's doing a different thing. So in order to take it apart, I just loosen the strings, unscrew this little thing right here, press on this button right here, boom, look at that, wow, pretty cool dog, if I do say so myself, and I do, I just did, and check it out, you leave the strings on, just like that, look, it even says overhead on the case, I mean, totally you could put this over your head. Check that out. That's nice, man. Then check it out. You just put it in the case like that. You and then you zip her up. You just zip her up like this. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm going somewhere in the world. And I'm taking my carbon fiber travel guitar. My journey instruments with me. Bye, mom. I'm going away to college, and this is all I'm taking. Peace out. Thanks for raising me. So check this out. This is how you reattach the neck. You just, it always kind of scares me. But, um, check out how easy this is, bro. Schwap. Schwap. And then I just take this BIA. Give it a twist. Well several twists not just one twist and there as good as new of course you do have to tune the strings up but i mean that's it that's it's crazy how quickly and easily it it disassembles and reassembles pretty cool so just to give you an idea of the way it sounds versus the guitar i'm usually using i'll play I'll play a few chords and notes and, and you know, you can be the judge.
So for me personally, um, would I use this guitar? Um, honestly, no, I, I, I wouldn't because I just don't personally have much of a use for it. I've got two great sounding guitars, specifically my King Mug, which I do pretty much all my recordings with. And my Ramirez, I perform with that all the time. Um, I'll use that for Super Guitar Bros shows and I haven't had a problem yet with taking that thing on a plane, but I know there's horror stories all over the place on the internet, so you never know what's gonna happen. This boy, you definitely don't have to worry about this. So if I was like traveling or something and I needed to do some arranging while I was there, or I just wanted a guitar to, to bring along and just to play or to work on technique or whatever, this thing would actually be great. It would be totally fine for that. But for recording and for performing, uh, I would definitely go with one of the guitars I already have. And that's it, bros. If you wanna grab a Journey Instruments carbon fiber, fiber travel guitar, just go down to the description because I'm gonna have a link there for you, okay? Hey, while you're down there, subscribe to my channel.